Welcome back everyone to another session. What we are going to talk about today is how to hyperlink to a word, a button, and a picture itself or a photograph itself. So you're on your Google sites and you want to hyperlink some links there. It's easy. Let us get started. So here, here I am. I'm just using welcome. So I'm just going to add something here. So I'm going to insert to try to get a picture from my drive to show you how to hyperlink. Let's get started. So I'm looking for a photo. All right, this says stronger together. All right, let me use this photo. It's a video slide. All right, let me go back again and search for a photo from my drive. Let's find a photo. I think this is a photo. All right, let me use this one. This is a photo. So we're going to use this one instead of the video. All right, so here it is. That's a photo. So we can hyperlink using a photo. So let us go ahead and do this one first. Once you click onto the photo, some icons come up here. This one that looks like an, a paper clip itself, it says insert link. So you click onto it and you paste the link there. So you would have the link. What if it is your YouTube channel or your, your the link of your lesson plans or the link of any documents that you have? Let me show you how to go back to your site and um to your drive and get a link. So let's go back to drive. All right, so here we are in drive and say hi have a document here that maybe says lesson plans or something of the sort. So let me all right. Here I have appraisal document. And let me just do one of these. So what I'll do is to right click onto it, get the link, make sure it is not unrestricted, but make sure it is on anyone with link can view. So let me go back. All right, so finding a document. So I right click on the document itself, get link. Make sure it is on anyone with link, so it must not be unrestricted and it must be on viewer. Copy the link, done, go back to the site itself and click on the photo. So say I want to hyperlink something to my photo here. So if it's lesser plans you want to do it to, or you want to do it to some students' um, welcome videos or something. So click on the photo, click on the link there and you would paste the links let me remove this because i already hyperlinked something to this let me remove it just to show you exactly how to get it done so you would paste the link here and click apply see it comes up here so once you click onto this if you're in preview mode it takes you straight to the document itself another way to hyperlink is to go to insert and we already have a link copied so go to buttons and what if I want to go ahead and paste the link here and write the names? What if the document is lesser plans? So I have a folder with all my lesser plans and I went ahead and copied the link of that folder and I have lesser plans here. I copy the link there and then I insert. So once you go in preview mode and you click onto this, it takes it to that folder with all the lesser plans. Another way you could hyperlink is to go by word so i could write the word lesser plans lesser plans and you can make this larger if you wish all the one size there i could align it to the center i could change the color all right if i wish so i could i like the word lesser plans go back to the, the insert link icon and paste the link that i had copied there then I click apply. So this is hyperlinked. So I showed you three ways or you could hyperlink by photo or a picture itself, by lesser plans, um, by button and by word. So photo, button, word. Awesome job. Now let us do something different because somebody would want to know how could I go and find the word lesser plan online. So I go to Google and I'm looking for the word lesser plan because I want to you know, get a picture with the word lesson plan. So let me try to write a lesson plan. And I want to find the word lesson plan. All right, see, I found, I found a picture here. 
or even lesser plants. You could save this first to add. You could use that. My lesser plan or lesser plant. So you want to find something to put there for it to look nice. So let's choose this one, my lesser plan. So I'm going to right click, save it as it saves as on my desktop. I want it on my desktop, save as. It is saved, so I'm going back to my drive. So remember, it's a process. Go back to your drive, upload, file upload. So click on the plus sign that says new, then file upload. So it will be on your, your desktop. I think I will save it as something about lesser plans. All right, let me search for it. All right, see it here, images. So I'm trying to upload it to my drive once upload. I'm going to go to recent to look for it. It should be at the top. Next step is to right click on it, get link or share. And down here, anyone with link, make sure it is good. You could copy the link. Go ahead and copy the link. Done. Go back to your site now. All right, so we're back with the site. So there are two ways to insert. So I'm going to insert from Drive and don't use the link. So go to insert, then Drive then i'm going to search for the document here it is I click on paste and i paste it there now as i said before you could create a folder to put all your lesser plans in which would be very easy so instead of putting up different lesser plans you just have a folder with all the lesser plans and i'm going to show you how to do that so here i have the picture with lesser plans so i'm going to embed my folder link with all my lesser plans in this photo itself. So that if you click onto it, you can go through and look at all my lesser plans. Let's get started. Click onto this, click the embed, the link in sign, paste the link there and apply. So all my lesser plans, if you, to, if you should click onto this, you will go in and see all my lesser plans. Let's go to preview mode for you to see that. Because we would want you to see exactly what I'm talking about, how simply it is. All right, so waiting on it for, to, to load so we can go ahead and go to preview mode. All right, here it is. So we're in preview mode. So if you click onto that, look at that, straight into the document itself. All right, good. So that's what I'm trying to say. We can get that done. All right, so I am going to show you exactly how to create a folder and drag all the lesser plans. Go back to your drive. All right, so we're going to go to new, the plus sign that says new, Folder upload. Sorry, so go back to new and it says folder. Sorry, not folder upload, but folder. Click on folder and we're going to name this folder lesser plans, right? The name this folder lesser plans. All right, so here it is. This folder is named lesser plans and what we're going to do is to go ahead and drag items to it or to drag so say for instance this is a lesser plan so i'll click on to it drag it and let it go in this let it go and then it will be added to it so you keep on dragging and letting things go in that document itself and so that you would have all the documents and you could rename if you wish if you want to rename the document you go ahead and you rename and you name it what you want to name it and that's basically how then you will just copy the link go ahead left click copy and it's restricted so change that mode to anyone then copy the link copy the link and then you would go back to your drive and what if you want to paste it here remember we say to click onto the document itself click click onto the document once you click onto the document itself then you click the click the hyperlink sign see it here and you paste the link there let me remove this so we can do it properly paste the link here and then you click apply. So all the lesser plans would be embedded here. And that's how you embed to pictures. We use photos, we use pictures, uh, we use buttons and we use words. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video where we will do more. Thank you so much.